tracheostomies and laryngectomies are two procedures which create an opening in the neck. Looking at a person, it may be hard to know if a person has a tracheostomy or laryngectomy. However, there are key distinctions between these two procedures. Join me this week as I discuss the differences between tracheostomies and laryngectomies. A tracheostomy is a surgical procedure which creates an opening through the neck into the trachea. The upper airway is maintained. This means there is still a connection from the nose and mouth to the lungs. The reasons for getting a tracheostomy are many. The three most common causes for needing a tracheostomy include the patient will require mechanical ventilation for more than two weeks, the patient cannot manage his own secretions and requires frequent suctioning, the patient has an upper airway which cannot ventilate adequately. This may be due to cancer, trauma, deformities, or other medical conditions. Tracheostomies can be short-term or permanent. A laryngectomy is the removal of all or part of the larynx. This is typically performed as treatment for advanced stage laryngeal cancer. A laryngectomy is occasionally performed as a last resort for individuals with chronic aspiration who are unable to protect the airway, either from cancer treatment or complications from other medical conditions. A partial laryngectomy is a more common treatment for laryngeal cancer. It is a surgical treatment meant to preserve the voice. The airway is not separated from the nose and mouth. One vocal cord or a partial piece of the vocal cord is removed. A total laryngectomy is usually performed when the disease cannot be managed with more conservative measures. In a total laryngectomy, the entire larynx is removed. This includes the vocal cords. The airway is separated from the nose and mouth and the esophagus. The trachea is sutured to the neck. There is no connection from the nose and mouth to the lungs. The individual does not breathe through the upper airway. Instead, breathing occurs through the stoma in the neck. Laryngectomies are permanent procedures. Once the surgery is performed, it cannot be reversed. Individuals with tracheostomies may or may not be able to speak. With a tracheostomy, the vocal cords are left intact. However, a person's ability to speak with a tracheostomy will depend on several factors, such as if the person is able to relearn how to speak with a tracheostomy, the presence of any underlying medical condition which may impede the person's use of his vocal cords, injury to the nerves and muscles needed to produce speech, etc. Some people with tracheostomies use a device called a speaking valve to produce speech. An individual with a total laryngectomy will not produce speech with his natural voice because the vocal cords have been removed. Additionally, airflow with a laryngectomy is redirected out through the stoma in the neck and does not pass through the upper airway. Special devices called electrolarynx and transesophageal prosthetic devices help people with laryngectomies produce speech. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye.